when the Electrolux factory closed, it's not like a bomb going off. It's a slow deteriorating effect. It's like erosion. You take that many people out of a job, it's devastating. It's a shock. Here's a small town of 8,000 people and we lose a large factory to Mexico. We had a lot of eggs in one basket. It's kind of like you hit rock bottom. A lot of businesses closed. How many people are we gonna lose? There were some lives that were turned upside down. You're losing your job. Their house, their cars, divorces. You just lose everything. There are a lot of people that were really afraid of what our future would be as a town. But the moment those words for sale went on the marquee, I knew the town was dying. I decided, you know what? We're done losing. We've lost enough. We need to start taking back our town. Good morning, Webster City. I'm Pat Powers, and we are here to talk about something exciting. When we got this project going, it was all these people coming together to make it happen. It had a real snowball effect. A lot of people jumped on board to save that theater. You saw that the community wanted something, and they worked together to get it. That movie theater is a wonderful example of how people are not willing to give up on Webster City. It's kind of like a rebirth of Webster City. The factory closing, it didn't define our city. It changed our city for the better. Change is not always bad. We are turning things around. We are coming back. We're going to move and adapt and do what we need to to survive. I think the only way a town can die is if the people give up on it. I've heard people say, oh, Webster City's going to die. It's going to dry up and blow away. I don't think the people that live here will let that happen.